Hello guys, this is Ratu498 and this is a 1v1 commentary battle on uh, Shogun 2 Total War and this is a match from the uh, Agony 1v1 Championship tournament thing that's going on at the moment and this is a battle between Kinjo and... Katons from RW So, we'll just run you through their builds very very quickly Alright, Kin this is Kinjo's build, he has one Lone Sword, two, three, four Lone Sword units in the front He has Yoriasha Go, Yoriasha Go and two nudge attendants and over on this flank he's got one, two, three nodachi with a nudge nato attendant in front and a nudge nato attendant behind a couple of yari cab over here and a larger cab force on this side of one, two uh, yari cab and some bow cab over there as well in this general so we'll have a look uh, at Katon's uh, army and he has got two nudge nato attendants he has got uh, some Nodachi in the front, and some Katana Sam behind. He's got some Nazanato Tenants in there, at the back, with some Waco Raiders. And he has got a larger Cav Force with two uh, Great Guard, I believe, a Nazanato Oriamon Cav, and a Katana Cav. And at the back, we've got another attendant there, and his General. So, this, I believe, is the Sword Dojo. And this appears to be what both the players are going to be kind of pushing for. And over here we have got um, Katon's guy, and he is going to be bringing up two National Alpha Attendants to try and take the uh, Royal Dojo. Right, so we'll get this into real speed. And Kinjo's done exactly the right thing, he's got his cav up higher onto the higher ground, so if anything happens, realistically he wants to be higher to get downhill charge, or at least not get downhill charge. Yeah, so as you can see his cav are going to go up a little bit higher here as well. <coughs> So these are two Yari Cab, I believe, over here on this flank with some Bow Cab. And Katons is moving up. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. And what we have over here, basically, if you look at uh, Kinjo's army, he's got a main force here, which is going to be like a pinning force to deal with this lot. And then he's got a flanking force around here, which will be able to come right around the back and be able to hammer straight into the side of this guy. And um, Realistically, with the way he's set up, I should think this is probably going to be uh, a win for Kinjo, with the way this is all set up. But at the moment, we've got some units now going to come out and try and counter it. We've got uh, two Katana Samurai and some Yarish Go that are going to come out and try and counter it. And we've got some National Alter Attendants as well. Uh, the Nodachi got 25 attack on these Nodachi. Only 15 attack on the Katana Sams. So they're going to get destroyed on that flank anyway, I should think. The Bow Cav are now shooting off, and he is targeting... The uh, Katana Sams, he's not wasting the... Oh, personally, I probably would have targeted the Nodachi. Oh, no, he is, he is targeting the Nodachi. <laughs> there we go. And we've got Cav units coming in now, and the attack's basically beginning off now. And we've got uh, Nodachi coming in at the front there, and Nodachi coming in at the front here. We've got Cav that have come round, and they're all engaged into each other. And some spears are going to move up now, so Yari should go at the front. Over on this flank, we've got the uh, Nodachi's engaged with the Katana Sams. Up on the hill, still no Cav... Uh, movement up here from Kinjo, but that's fine because he's got spears engaged with these cav units which they're just going to destroy them really really quickly running right the way through the line we've got Rani and a hold firm gone up here so Yarish Go had a hold firm on him and he's going to be able to take hold here and we've got a hold firm as well over here so it's going to be pretty fearsome fight down here to be honest with you with all the hold firms and everything none of them are going to be dying off too quickly through the center We've got units running away now and they're getting outflanked. We've got units that are getting attacked from the rear. As you can see here, Nodachi's got them from behind, the Waco Raiders. Nodachi's also coming down here from behind. And they should be able to destroy these guys pretty quickly as well. As you see, they're running away instantly. Just from getting attacked in the rear. And the Cav have now decided to move, I believe. Yep, here they are coming around from behind. Yari Cav in the rear. Uh, with, mm, he's managed to kill off um, Katon's... Uh, Cav up here pretty much with his uh, his Yari Cav and also his National Arts Attendants and he's got some Cav hit straight into the back and that was his main body force uh, completely destroyed there so that was pretty much over now, it was a really good game to Kinjo um, this was the only game as after this Katon was uh, forfeited and he said he didn't want to play another one, it was a good game and basically um, he didn't think he could win the next game so he just said good game and, um, and he forfeited to Kinjo, so Kinjo went through on this, and there was some excellent outflanking moves there from Kinjo, I have to say, he did a really good job. 
So we're just focusing on a little bit of the fighting for you. With the new blood DLC, there's the blood. So that's that over and done with. And even with the uh, morale dojo, he still, the rear charges just finished him off. So that was a good game to both players. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys later on. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.